Welcome to Selling Out. I'm Jason Van Glass. I'm Red Jefferson. Uh, we have 10 items on sale on tonight's show. Uh, they are actually for sale. Uh, Red's never seen them before. But if you Venmo us or check out normalwebsite.com, you give us the correct amount of money, we will actually mail these to you. Uh, and first on tonight's show, as it is every week until we sell it, this Bob Ross Chia Pet. My goodness, uh, Bob Ross, cultural icon, and Chia True. Pet, also a cultural icon in True. its own right. And the two, a marriage made in uh, the art of heaven. True, truly two cultural icons for the price of one, because we're just asking $25 for this handmade planter. So handmade like planter. Handmade, uh, just like uh, Bob's paintings used to be. Excellent, uh, yeah, hand, they were all handmade. Excellent uh, home decor, uh, great as a gift, mm -hmm. a present for a loved one or roommate. Um, That's an excellent point. I think uh, your heirs will be happy to have this in your estate. Uh, and whether you pass tomorrow or 40 years from now, this will be something you pass down for generations uh, because it's, uh, it's a handmade ceramic planter. Uh, it's got Bob Ross's signature right, right on it. And not I, his real signature. No, of course Facsimile, of no, course. Yes. Uh, stamp of some sort. And uh, to be quite honest, they give you, I believe they give you two refill packs. There's, yeah. There's something of at least one to two refill packs. This does come with chia seeds, which are good for you. And uh, right here, germination tested, 75% germination in July 2018. These are... 75%. These are good chia seeds, uh, even though the ceramic appears to already have Even afro. without the uh, chia seeds, which already. you will run out of. You will run out of chia seeds, which is fine. You can get those Whole Foods. You don't even need them anymore. Yeah. It's a complete package, whether you have the green, if you don't even like plants. You might eat the chia seeds. Have you eaten chia seeds before? Yes. And? Delicious, high in omega fats. Uh, they create a sort of like glutinous, weird texture. You're making my mouth water, Jason. But that glutinous texture is what allows them to stick to ceramics. It's what makes the Chia Pet technology possible. Outstanding. Uh, and right, it says right here on the box, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. Wow. Great words to live by from Bob Ross himself. There's nothing wrong with having a tree as a friend. It's a gift that teaches you. Even a little tree will grow up to be yeah. a big tree. Mm -hmm. All it needs is water, sunshine, and love. The same wow. as all of us. Uh, Outstanding. Oh, uh, I guess that bell means we have uh, info coming from the tech booth. What's going on? Yeah. Uh, we've got a question, uh, a couple of questions from Great. prospective buyers. Oh, wonderful. Are the seeds bigger or little? I believe they're just standard chia seeds. Uh, chia seeds are very small. Very small seeds. Very tiny. And apparently, uh, interesting to taste. You were mentioning before, well, delicious. They, they, have a, they have a sort of neutral flavor, but a, a gelatinous texture when they get wet. And I believe they're a Native American food, they're an indigenous food to, indigenous the, to food. the North America. All right, and uh, are they happy? Sure. Uh, yes, just like the trees that Bob painted, the chia seeds are happy. You have to make them happy though, with water and sunshine as stated in the instructions. Remember, the instructions are key for uh, chia growth. Now this has never been opened, uh, and I think it's $25. Still sealed. Well, it's not, it's not glued shut or anything, but it's never been used. It's never been used. I think $25 is a pretty good value because I know how I got it. $25, you probably that spent- That shipping. Outstanding. What a treat. $25, you probably spent at least more than that. It's hard to say because I got this in a white elephant gift exchange uh, where I traded a pair of stilts to my friend's 65-year-old uncle. Mm-hmm who then used the stilts in the living room and oh, a great time was had that by all. sounds like it. I got this Bob Ross. So these are the value of a pair of stilts. That sounds like a value, that's a, a sentiment, which is priceless. Uh -huh. The, the, the uh -huh. sentiment involved, sediment, that's the rock. Yeah, not the sediment Not a involved. sediment, but the it's sentiment. It's made of sediment. It's made of sediment. Fine sediment. Uh, not the chia seeds. Chia the seeds are organic. Also, but uh, they are fine. They are fine. Very fine. The point is if you Venmo us $25 at Gangbusters, check out normalwebsite.com. Give us, now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't have a warehouse of these. We've already explained I got these by trading stilts. I don't have more stilts, so I can't get more of these. We just have one of these. There's only one left. As far as I know in the world. Yeah, I've, I've never seen another. To have be you? quite honest, I've never in person touched a Bob Ross well, Chia Pet box, and I'm doing it right now. And I don't wanna get my grubby mitts all over your uh -huh. Bob Ross Chia Pet. Uh -huh. So I'll lay off a little bit, even though it's enticing, especially when you t discuss the chia seeds taste, which is a neutral flavor, but gelatinous texture, which I enjoy. You might just eat the chia seeds. 
in all honesty, twenty-five dollar value for the chia seeds alone. Is he's already got the. This is handsome enough on its own. Just eat the chia seeds. He looks pretty good without the. Either way. And just to keep in mind, also, it's not going to take a long time. Full growth within one to two weeks. Full sure. growth. You're sure. not going to have to wait. You know, more than two no. weeks for this. Like. A lot of things you have to wait for more shipping and handling. Well, how, how well, long is it going to get to? Well, shipping will take about a week. Okay. I mean, I'll mail it promptly and it will so arrive promptly, weeks, but it's not going to be overnight. Within three weeks, you're going to have a fully grown Bob Ross Chia Pet, yeah. and you're going to be able to show your friends this. And they Remember will be that. impressed. Uh, if I can be honest with you, the home viewer, the mistake you're making in terms of not having your friends respect you is the lack of a Bob Ross Chia Pet. So. Uh, Go ahead and Venmo us at twenty-five dollars. I'm going to bring up our next item. I I almost don't want this one to leave. But, yeah, but, but I mean course, we have to save someone's because there's people out there they're not respected by their friends and coworkers. And we need to get them respected. And this is the solution. Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring up our next item here. Now, Red, you're an American. I'm a what? What? You're an American. Are yes. You? Fair. Great. If you were Canadian, you, this would be a fair chance to tell me. But I, you're an American, and that's why you know that you could be murdered at any time for basically no reason. Uh, that's just a fact. That's part of the freedom of living that's in America. That's part of uh, the journey, the American dream. You could be at the grocery store mm -hmm. or just standing on a street corner somewhere. In your car. At a in country music home. concert, at school. Yeah, school. Work. Work. College. The point is, there's a solution. A solution to not getting killed? Well, yeah, and that's Jim Wagner's reality-based personal protection system. What? Uh, this is a four DVD set. Uh, each one of these DVDs full of, of uh, training material uh, that you can use to survive any sort of uh, armed attack. Uh, so now, you're, you're holding ground survival. Which is very important because surviving, when you're on sure. the ground, that's all you have to think about. I survival. learned from the box that the ground is the last place you want to be. Mm -hmm. But if you're on the ground, you're going to want to use the gun you have. I have a gun. I assume you have a gun? Yes. Okay, you obviously, this is America, we all have guns. We all have guns. You're going to want to use the gun you have to do what he's doing right there, but there's 45 minutes of explanation about how to do that. I have handgun survival. You probably want to watch this one first. Which, um, and which one? That's hand? I got hand, handgun. Handgun. And, and then this one's not even open. We have women's survival. That's how you use a woman to defend yourself. This one, this one's like a, almost a collector's item because uh, it's still in shrink wrap. Sure. It's a little opened. It's a little open. Okay, well, but it's not. More. But it hasn't been used, obviously, because they would have had to. So you learn how to use the handgun. Thing. You learn how to use the handgun from the ground. You learn how to use this woman. So like, you're, this is you, but you're gonna send her straight into con. Oh, I believe we're getting a. Is that a phone call? Uh, caller, you're on the air. Well, who's right. calling? Where are you from? Uh, yeah, you're uh, on the air. Uh, how can we help you? Are you interested in buying some self-defense DVDs? Yeah, I just wanted to talk to the... Yeah, is this Jeremy? Yes. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy, have you ever worried that someone might break into your house and murder you in cold blood? Yeah, occasionally. Sure, I Fair. think we all have. Uh, occasionally is a fine sure. response. Uh, well, then you'd be... Well served, I think, by these DVDs. Now, you get the three Jim Wagner DVDs. You also get the Crucible High Training, sorry, Crucible High Risk Environment Training 2, Volume 1, Closed Hand Combatants with Kelly McCann. That's a mouthful, to say the least. Uh, I believe this is a, a more than two hours of training. 150 minutes on two discs, right there. And just hear this. Jim Wagner, uh -huh. uh, few self-defense instructors in the world can come close to Wagner's background. He's sure. a former soldier. Wow. Jailer. Wow. Street cop. All three? SWAT officer. There's more? That's a lot. Diplomatic bodyguard. Why would he have so many jobs? And counter-terrorist agent with the U.S. government. That's like six jobs. He, this guy, he's got his hands in all types of cookie jars. Sounds like <clears throat> the police chief must really be coming down hard on his ass. He has oh. to get a new job every every two years. In what addition. Bob Ross thing? Yeah, with the Bob Ross Chia pet. Yeah. You, are you interested in that? Yeah, we, we want to go back to that for a second, because I hate to burst your bubble, but that is not Bob Ross's real head. It's not his head. Well, can you explain? Because uh, to me, it looks like a pretty stunning likeness. I mean, I'm looking at Bob Ross's actual head right now, and that is not it, buddy. Are you talking about his biological skull? Like, yeah. The, the, yeah. Yeah. 
So this is a Chia pet. Sure. I, hey, there's a photo of him right here. I think it looks just like him. And it looks just like him. If you look at the, the, the likeness. This is false advertising. Well, we never said it was his severed head. I guarantee head. you that head did not come off of Bob Ross's body. We don't want the head to come off no, no, no. Bob Ross's no. body. Because it's a, it's a handmade planter by no, an artist just yeah, like Bob. That was a real son of a gun to make happen. You don't want to try to do that. Okay, well, if you don't... Bob Ross has some neck tendons on him. Caller from uh, Oklahoma, if you don't want the Bob Ross Chia pet, it's going to go someone else. Yeah, it, someone's going to yeah, get this. Yeah, I just this. want people to know that it's not his real head. We, it's not his, it's it, definitely not. It's made we, of ceramic. Under no circumstance is this his skull. Bob Ross is alive and well. Yeah, and he's long thank dead. You. Oh, thank you. When did he die? Oh, a while you. ago. Thank you. Yeah, he's, oh, yeah. That's all we, all we wanted. wanted. We just wanted yeah, to make sure nobody bought I had no idea. We, I was just watching. We are selling Bob Ross and Ted. Okay, well, thank you, caller. If you're watching this, it's not his head. Um, it is a ceramic. He's. You didn't know he was dead? No, I did not. Actually, yeah, this is like a memorial. Do they? He had no say in this. His estate, his I grandchildren. Hope he's dead. I mean, we're gonna move on. We're gonna go to the next item. He is in a, a world of hurt right now. I'll tell you that much. I didn't mean to get so dark. I'm sorry. It's. Well, I I understand. It's a dark world, and that's why you'd be well served by. If I may say correctly, Jim Wagner's reality-based personal protection system. I can't emphasize how reality-based these are. It, they're practically uh, real. Uh, they're, they're practically right in the room with you, teaching you and instructing uh -huh. you. And in all honesty, I, I don't know about yourself, Jason, but I get into fights quite a bit. Uh, people try to pick fights. I get killed almost once a year, just walking around Hollywood. And how, how would you like to not get killed on a, a quarterly basis the way you have. I guess I'd prefer it. Exactly. We'd all prefer not to get killed. And the best way to prefer sure. to not get killed is to have a game plan. And uh -huh. that's what Jim Wagner's all about, is giving you a game plan. You're on your back, uh -huh. gotta scrap. Who that's the first one. Jim oh, we're still Who is there. this Jim Zwanka? I, I'm sorry, I can't understand you, caller. Who is Jim Wanka? Who is Jim Wagner? Oh, We've oh, been through this. Let me go right through it. He's, He's the a, inventor of the reality-based training system. He's former, had all these Former jobs. soldier, jailer, street cop, SWAT officer, diplomatic bodyguard, counter-terrorist with the U.S. government. In addition... No, no. As our no, society grows increasingly more violent, so do attacks on him. women. Is it women's survival is the most comprehensive personal protection what system available to women today. And Jim she's, Wagner's pretty, She's a detective. No, he's no, no true detective. detective. Detective Joanna, no, right there. No. She's a part of this DVD. No. And did we talk about this one here? No, there's this a lot one? to unpack there. That's this a, that's... is a lot. This is the Crucible High Risk Environment Training number so you two. You got the reality based system. We're also going to give you the Crucible based. The Crucible based, system. and this is number two. This is the second one because Jump in all right honesty, in. we don't you don't need the the uh, double no. instruction. The first one's really. It's bullshit. Um, it's like learning a foreign language. What you want to do is just go to France, immerse yourself in the closed hand combative system. We all know where the biblioteca is. Uh, we need to know we, how we, to find the bathroom. How to right. find the bathroom. And this is this gets straight to the point of the punch, literally. Uh, it, it's like a gut check to the stomach, to your eyes and ears. He's gonna teach you everything about crucible fighting, crucible hand-to-hand -hand combat. What that is, sure. he's gonna what let you know. What about if firsthand. you get accused of being a witch? Does it go over that? Uh, if you're accused of being a witch, I, I don't know, but there are, it is 150 minutes on two discs just on this one DVD. Crucible so you're looking at training. six hours of training. I assume it covers all practical uh, realities. Does that answer your question? We lost them. Oh, we lost That's them. Fair. Okay. Well, they might have been found out as witches. Uh, the point is. One of the reasons why Kelly yeah. McCann, and by the way, this is Kelly McCann. Sure. As, as you, you see right there, um, what, it, it's, it's respect worldwide. It's its simplicity. Sure. Um, Gross motor movements that can use the brutal efficiency during yeah. the chaos of a violent encounter. You can tell just from the title that this is a simplicity-based ethic. It's the simplest box. And it's so simple. It gets straight to the point. He's punching you. He's immediately Nothing punching says you. simple. Huh? Oh, was that a message from the internet? Uh, no. No? no? False alarms? <laughs> Misunderstanding of a false alarm. Wow. Uh, well, uh... I thought it was news from the outside. The point uh, is... $25 for DVDs now online, these are stunningly expensive. So Give let's say you already have a handgun and you know how to use it, you know about ground survival, you know about using a woman to you survive. You have all the tools. You could just resell these at a profit. I'm not gonna rule that out. 
Yeah. Because they're we're only asking twenty five bucks, but they're they're like forty dollars a piece online. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars for the Bob Ross right. statue. Twenty five dollars right. for these self defense uh -huh. uh, DVDs. The value, Jason. You got to think about bills and your family. You can't be uh -huh. giving it away for such low prices. You, the, you're going to change that to this. Could be thirty. My goal is to help people. So let's say your friends don't respect you, Bob Ross Chia Pet. Let's say friends want to attack you. Let's say you have a handgun but you don't know how to use it. Four DVDs. It's actually technically five DVDs, but four DVD sets from Black Belt Magazine. And the value. I so, I, I don't know how you're doing this, Jason. I, I think you're kind of crazy for this one. Um, but in all honesty, if I saw this on my local Twitch uh, QVC style show. If you were show, watching this, you'd buy this? If I was watching okay, this, I'd well, buy this. There you go. Uh, coming up next, uh, wow. Well, you're, you're a fashionable guy. As you could tell. What we have here are three capes from the DC Superhero Girls collection. We have Bumblebee. Bumblebee. We have Katana. Katana? Right. We have a cape for Katana. Outstanding. And, and we have Poison Ivy. <laughs> Talk and about the stars. These are stunningly beautiful capes. And look at the detail. Uh -huh. If you look at the detail in the stitching, look at that silver reflective stitching. Look at the mask detail, the big red circle. Sure. Outlined now, eyeliner. I don't know how much you know about Katana. It's true none of these characters wear capes. Yes. That's like a small oversight. But, but I wouldn't let that stop you because look at how pretty these capes are. You're gonna be so pretty. You're gonna be and, such, a, such a pretty girl. And th if you think about it, they never wore capes in their original form. Sure. This makes it that much more exclusive. She has wings, so it would be especially impractical for Bumblebee to wear a cape. Don't let that stop you. Oh, I believe we're receiving another phone call. Uh, caller, you're on the air. Uh, who are you and where are you calling from? Um, hi, this is uh, Susan. I'm from Moorhead, Minnesota. Oh, and hi. I have a question about... Hi, I have a question about the cape. Oh, great. I'll send it. Okay, do they come with batteries? No, they don't require any batteries. No, no, actually I don't see anything here about batteries. I think you're but good. But do they come with batteries? Are you looking for batteries? If I send you the money for the capes, can you send me batteries? If, if you include a note with your Venmo payment, it will include four batteries. Now these are unused until okay. now. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna okay, try one great. on. Does You're it trying have one to on? be Venmo? Well, they fit size. Yeah, Venmo is at Gangbusters. Uh, Can these I three capes, I believe, also twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. There's three of them here, Jason. You're saying all I three or twenty five a piece? Obviously, that, I don't. I guess that's the price. Twenty five dollars for those and batteries. If you need the batteries, yeah. What kind of batteries? I'm gonna I'm gonna gently use this one. Okay. Just to demonstrate. And one what gently used does not diminish the quality. Look at yeah. that. We'll, we're going to save the packaging. Those I'm trying to get the batteries. Do you see that I've been color? looking the ones we got and they're not got no oh, charge no more. No, they told me they could send me some batteries. Okay, make sure they're not in bolts. I'm oh, sure you I'm can't sure see this at home, but it is a lovely green color. You've disappeared. I can't it's see It's basically, okay. a, I assume, an invisibility cloak. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll send you some money and you send the night bolt. Thanks. Okay, thanks for calling. Thank you so much for calling, Colin. Phone lines are open. Uh, so it's just a beautiful cape that we have no way of showing you the true beauty of. But I can't emphasize enough what a beautiful silk, I'm going to say, or rayon, but like silk-esque. What it does is it classes up Glittery. any outfit you're wearing. Whatever you're sure. wearing, you and with three different options, silver goes with everything. Silver goes with absolutely everything. A night on the yeah. town, or you want to just spend the, t the day in watching sure. Golden Girls. Romantic evening out, fashionable club. A library. You're going to want to put on a katana cape or a bumblebee cape or even the poison ivy cape. Yeah, but not when you're in front of a green screen. No, but I not can't emphasize enough how beautiful this cape is. It is an outstanding cape. Oh, the tag's up. But oh. it is machine washable. We know oh, that right, right now. That's machine such washable. good news. So if you've got a machine, you can wash it. Any machine will wash it. Any machine. Uh, and uh, although they are made for a child, I think they fit really any confident adult. Anyone that's capable of wearing a cape in their regular day life is someone that yeah. I'd probably want to meet. 
I own a lot of capes, but I feel I don't often enough wear a cape out and about. It seems like something that it, uh, it needs to be brought back. And it can be brought back with your support. $25 for, wait, you're trying to say $25 per one, no, no, no. right? All three delivered. Jason, I'm gonna have to commit you after this. What a deal, what savings, what value. And you get three of them, mm -hmm. huh, wow, my goodness. And I wonder what kind of material are they made out of? I'm not sure, but I imagine... 100% polyester. Wow. 100% polyester. Not 80% or 90%. Pure. I have a shirt that's 30% polyester, and I don't even... I'm afraid to go outside with that thing. Outstanding. Just a, just a beautiful cape, uh, and uh, I think any child or adult would be lucky to have it. I'm honestly thinking about getting this for myself, but I don't want to take it away from these collars. Well, yeah, and again, we only have the one set. Yeah, that's so, fair. So uh, if you're looking at these capes, or trying to look at them but can't see them because of the magic of green screen technology. Uh, Venmo at Gangbusters. Check out normalwebsite.com. And uh, let's just see what's Excellent. up next. Let's just keep it, keep the ball rolling. I'll take that over here. Great. Excellent. Excellent. So it's a fair amount of uh, branded merchandise on tonight's show. Do you recognize this? Of course I recognize that. That's the famous Hypnotoad. It is the Hypnotoad. From Futurama fame. Correct, and it's, uh, even as the original tag, this is an uh, uh, official plush, uh, looking for the year here, Two th 2013, five years old, Okay. Uh, limited edition, judging from what they're selling on eBay for. And what pristine condition for being, what, six years old? Yeah. Not a blemish on no, its, it's body. No, it's an excellent condition. Excellent condition. And, and, uh, and I didn't even know that they made plushies no. for this hypnotode. I, I'd never seen one until I saw this one. And we never see one again. Now, I have a question for you, Jason. Great. I know you search far and wide for these treasures. Where did you find this hypnotoad? Can you give us a story? I can't reveal the secret of the hypnotoad. <laughs> I've been trying to get it out of for years, folks. Needless I to say, I'm just gonna sneak it in. I only have the one. Mm -hmm. Don't have a warehouse of them. Be honest about that. And I've never seen one before. And just no. like the Bob Ross Chia Pet, this may be the only one in existence. There's, I haven't seen one in person. There I'm are others on eBay. Touching it. But I, I only know that because I looked this one up on eBay, which is why our price is $45. $45. $45. $45. I would have paid $55 for this. Well, thing. that's what you'd have to pay on eBay. On eBay, probably. But this $45 delivered, you're going to save at least 10 bucks over eBay. But how much is shipping in hand? That's where you're going to get on, e on eBay, you're paying 50, 60 bucks plus the shipping. We got $45 delivered. Okay, phone lines are open. It seems like we have another call coming in. Caller, you're on the air. Identify yourself. I think that's a good point. Uh, I think children would like this hypnotoad, but it is, it is made for the adult collector. Yes, but it doesn't have any hard objects, so it's good for pets. Right. Good for pets. Suitable for children, but but I think aimed at the adult market. Yeah. Uh, the the professional uh, working man. Best it should be based on it's from a show from 20 years ago. Of course, of course. We're not getting any younger. Let's be honest. The show is 20 years old. It's a 20 year old show and was canceled twice, I believe. Sure. Yeah. Um, did we notice that this hypnotoad is winking? The oh, hypnotoad is so a it's playful got the wink. Eyes. If you see one eye, I'm assuming that's an open eye. So the eyes are in the flux. The it's, it's winking of at the you. hypnotizing you. Also a great Valentine's Day, a belated Valentine's Day gift. All now, of these would be a great uh, a true. woman's self-defense. That's right. And the Bob Ross Chia Pet. Three capes? Are you kidding me? Hmm. Look, if you didn't get flowers yesterday, don't screw this up. Buy something on tonight's show. Uh, You're easily going to spend $56 on flowers alone. $45, wow. you get this beautiful hypnotode delivered to your home in discreet packaging. Got a little, uh, he's got a little necklace, a little fragile necklace. You get the necklace comes with That's how with good it. this condition, it's Usually you have to pay necklace. extra for those necklaces on these plush toys. Well, I, I can see that if a child or a dog played with this, that necklace would break off. So th that indicates to you that not just it has the tag, but this is an excellent uh, hypnotoad. And uh, you'll just be able the, to relive your great memories from that episode from 20 years ago. 100%. And look at that, even the tag is in great condition. Outstanding, sure. what a treat. And you can name it whatever you want. You can name it Billy. Do hypnotoads have names? Delia. Is there more than one hypnotoad? Because wasn't the hypnotoad genetically modified? Wasn't oh no, it's from a different planet, I believe. You know, we're gonna have to check the Futurama Wikipedia about hypnotoad uh, and get back to you because I guess we've we've stumbled into a quandary where it's like, 
Is Hypnotoad part of a species of Hypnotoads, or is it just one and he has a TV show? The point is, we have this one, it's for sale. If you Venmo us, uh, $45. <laughs> Go to normalwebsite.com if you if you want to fill out a more official form. In all honesty, Jason, we should probably check these message boards now because I'm pretty certain it's already been bought. But if okay. not, you should we'll just have go the one. check. Uh, just have the one. So uh, get in on the action. Uh, let's do a cheaper item. This is this is the cheapest item we have on the night show. Well, I'm excited to find out because I like to pinch a penny. Speaking of television from 20 years ago, I'm sure you remember the American uh, version of The Office. Uh, this is an uh, original script uh, for an episode uh, entitled The Carpet uh, for the American Office. So it's written by, uh, I'm going to say, Paul Lieberstein and directed by Victor Neal Jr. Uh, and it's signed uh, by the creators of Selling Out, myself and my producer Rob Schultz. How in the world did you get those signatures? Uh, well, we just, it's us, so we just signed it. Outstanding. We didn't and work. you used a Sharpie. And would, right. Well, that's, I'm that's assuming a it's a, shar a Sharpie. Yeah. Uh, can I say It's an assume? archival Sharpie. Does it come with a, a certificate of authenticity? Well, no, but you're buying it from us, and we're the ones that signed it. And I, I want to emphasize, we didn't work on this episode of The Office. Straight from the horse's mouth, right here. We, we, we make this show. Which is... Do you want to sign it? We can get you a, a pen, probably. Um, um, I don't have one on me, but I feels, it feels right for you to sign it. I'll, I'll sign it in between once it's purchased to add okay. value. Okay. Because in all honesty, show, we'll it, doesn't it. Need, it doesn't need me, my signature. Now, it's already a pretty great this document. Is, this is a way for someone to support the show because we're only asking $10 for this. That includes shipping. Uh, for $10, we will mail you this original uh, shooting script from the office signed by the creators of Selling Out, me, Jason McGlass, and my producer, Rob Schultz. Outstanding. And and I think we'll get our associate producer, Russell, to sign it. We'll get you to sign it. I would love to. And that's four signatures for just $10. Four signatures, yeah. a script. Uh huh. Look at these binding. Look at this yeah, that's, binding. That's these legit. Are, this isn't staples, friend. That's no Kinko's nonsense. And just to give you a little snippet. Yeah, let's, let let's, let's snippet. reenact, because this lets you reenact the show at home. Creed, who do you think did it? Oscar, are you kidding? I assumed it was you. Creed, really? <laughs> I thought you. <laughs> More classic humor from The Office. Creed? Just unbelievable. I'll, I'll pick one. Oh, I would love uh, to hear okay. it. It's so great to just relive these old, want to look. old great scenes. Uh, I'll be Jim, you be Kelly. And no. we'll, we'll take that call. Uh, Jim says, what? Jim closes um, the website. That hotel, it looks so romantic. Somewhere in the Poconos. I was just surfing. <laughs> Another classic scene from The Office. Caller, you're on the air. Um, hello, hi. Um, I have a question for the guy with the, with the purple hair. Uh-huh, that's me. Go ahead. Hi. Um, so you have an episode called The Carpet, right? Yes, there's a script for the episode of The Office called The Carpet. <laughs> Do you have the matching drink? What was that called? Uh, I think we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Uh, caller, if you're, if you're watching the stream, the uh, uh, best we can do is tell you it's a, it's a full shooting script. It's, it's more than 30 pages. And uh, let's I'll be honest, it gives you everything you need to recreate the office in your own home. At least a third of a dozen signatures are going to be on this bad boy sure. before it gets sent out. And the binding clips, the paper, thick, uh -huh. thick paper. Not cardstock, but good, good printer uh -huh. paper. Uh, and yeah, it's from it's from 2005. It's the first revised shooting script. I don't remember this episode based on these hilarious moments, but let's we'll do one more. One more, just to give them a taste. Uh, but in all honesty, we don't want to give them too much. This is all gold. Uh, I'll be Jim. You be Pam. Excellent. Hey, welcome back. Thanks. How was the resort? Did you ski a lot? A little. <laughs> An odd beat. And then I say, good. <laughs> I bet he looks at the camera too. Wow, what a classic. Episode we're all remembering. I, in all honesty, the camera I'm pushes into his face. Jim notices. I'm surprised just, this isn't in some sort of vault somewhere. Just word for word, hilarious comedy. Outstanding. Uh, and you could get it for what? You said ten, 10 bucks. bucks. It's it's more of a $10. support the show. It's sort of like Kickstarter. You have a support level. This is a way to support selling out. For ten dollars, we will mail you the script, and it will be signed by you and me and and our producers and maybe you're, some other people. You're getting all of our signatures. 
which sure. alone is worth a lot of money. If you also have our bank information, social well, information, yeah. worth a lot of money. At but San Diego Comic Con, you'd have to pay me thirty-five dollars for that signature. So. Thirty-five dollars. You're getting it for less than a third of the price, friends, and you're getting all this paper to go with it. Wow, uh, just a great value. Uh, let's uh, let's see what else we have on, on sale for tonight. Got a couple more items here. All right. Can you, well, I, let me tell you something, Jason. I am a music lover. Do you have anything for me that's, I don't know, that fits my fascination with both music and collectibles? No. What we do have is movies. Uh, these are laser discs. Laser are you familiar discs? with laser disc technology? <laughs> no, I'm not from the future, Jason. These are the size of an LP record, but they're movies. Wait, what are you talking Physical about? Physical copies of movies. No, I've seen records before, Our Jason. Let me open them. Army of Darkness. This is a giant CD. An American Werewolf in London. Yeah, no, it's a giant CD. Uh, it's actually technically an analog format. Uh, we got Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knights. These are just a bunch of classic horror films. We got the Relic, $40 price tag on that one. Jason, I'm sorry. I'm having a little the, bit of trouble. The Frighteners, No Rest for the Wicked. And these just work like regular movies. On any yes. laser disc player, yes. On any laser disc player. We got player. Dracula. Wow. We got the Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen any of these things that you're saying. You've never seen Army of Darkness? No, I've never seen Army of Darkness, well, but I'd be love- you a fool not to watch Army. It's from the director of Darkman. I'm gonna, I'm gonna purchase a laser disc we got the We got the Howling. Oh, uh, and of course, uh, finally, we got, we got Free Willy. So Free Willy, so it's just uh, nine Free great- Free Willy? Yeah, and it's sealed. And it's still original packaging. Yeah, and uh, you can see even the sale price on, on the Free Willy, twenty six ninety nine. Uh, pure magic, you will cheer, says Joel Siegel. <laughs> Joel Siegel. You can't lie with that. Are you getting a quote by Joel Siegel uh -huh. on it, on the Free Willy? This, uh, this kid's friends with a whale, I assume. Now, I have a question for you, Jason. Maybe you okay. can answer this because you're a man that knows a, a thing or two about laser discs. How do they work? Uh, they work in a laser disc player. You put them in the laser disc player, it plays them. Uh, it's a format that has the same, actually, it's 10 years before a DVD, but it has the same uh, quality of a DVD. And I like the style that Laserdisc took where, you know, came in hard, left real fast. Leave on top is what I always they didn't, say. They actually were on top for a while. Uh, 1984 to 1994, prime Laserdisc era. Outstanding. Uh, in Japan, the number one format. Outstanding. And, uh, uh, now, I have a question for you, Jason, yeah. because these things are heavy and Correct. look very fancy. What are you, what are well, you asking I for regret this. this. Uh, Don't do it, We Jason. said the wrong price on last week, $25. $25 I wish I asked for more because I was going to ask, I, you know what I mean? Just not real darkness. Jason, before you say another word, you better no, say the thing You get all of them one. delivered. <laughs> that must be the person purchasing it right now. You just said magic uh, word. Caller, we have another caller. Caller, you're on the air. Oh, hi. Uh, how hot do them laser discs cut? What's the maximum temperature on them laser discs? Well, they're not microwave safe. We established that last week. Well, uh, I much like a CD, to, if you wanted, put one in a microwave, it will be spectacular. Cut me through, through a 1957 Buick. I got to cut that in half. My truck of source is in the shop. What you could do is attach these lasers to the wheel of your Buick, and then it would look pretty fly, I would think. In all honesty, that sounds like a great hubcap. Yeah. You know, I got, I got me a mess of dogs trapped in that Buick. I need to cut it open. Oh, I think I understand. I need the a caller would disc. like to use the laser disc to cut open their car because yeah. the, the dog the is stuck in the car. I, just, I would bust a window and then bring the dog inside and watch Free Willy, Dracula, the Howling, uh, Army of Darkness. Army of Darkness. Beast from 20,000. Oh, an American Werewolf. That's a class. You never seen American Werewolf in London? I did. I saw uh, the, the transformation. Yeah, is Army of, of Darkness or Free Willy Burn Hotter? Uh, I mean, that's up for you to determine. You could do whatever you want with these things once you purchase them. Hell, you could use them as Frisbees. Yeah, we you could use them as plates. We got Tales from the Crypt uh, Demon Knight. Tales from the Crypt? That's my favorite. <laughs> Whatever happened to this guy? Can we? Where happened to that yeah, guy? Yeah, it's weird. They bring him back out, but they're not bringing back this guy. Yeah, what? They makes bring you, him back out. Makes you wonder. Yeah, they, they it's coming back, whether you want it to or not. I want it to. Oh, good. I don't think 
they know what you want. I, these men don't know nothing about car demolition. Hey, Paula, you're still on the no. air, so we're going to hang up on you. So if you want these laser discs, uh, it's nine of them, just 25 bucks. That's not enough money. I, I meant to ask for more money, but I'm not going to raise the price now. Um, because it's, they're worth five bucks a piece. The original retail price, 40, 50 bucks a piece. Let me be honest with you. 25 bucks gets, gets you a lot of gas in your car, mm -hmm. but I think you're going to get a lot more gas and a lot more mileage out of these once you show these to your friends. Oh, Again, sure. trying to get your friends to respect you. This is the way to do it. Show them your fancy yeah. things from the 80s that, that people don't understand. Well, they won't need, you'll just be enjoying watching the Frighteners. Yeah. No rest for the weekend. Now, Jason, yeah. you are a searcher of fine goods throughout True. Los Angeles and the greater the Los Angeles area. Oh, more than that, California. All of California. Parts now, of Oregon. Where would I get a laser disc player? Well, I sold mine, so I don't know. That's Maybe the guy I sold it to? Do you have his name and information? Yeah, his name's Kenny. I can hook you up. Now, I have a question for you to really okay. spice this deal up for the, the customers. Yeah. Can you put his name and information into this deal so that they could contact Kenny for this? I will this? give you Kenny's home address without his consent if you buy these laser discs. If you buy these nine laser discs for uh -huh. $25, uh -huh. he's going to throw in his friend's personal information so you right. could go get you a laser disc player. At Kenny's house. Now, I have to warn you, Kenny is like six foot four. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a big guy. He was in the Norwegian metal band for a Be long time. Be respectful to Kenny. He's a strong guy. He's a beefy boy. He could have his own educational DVD about defending yourself. So I have a question for you, I will Jason. put you in touch with Kenny, but you're not gonna wanna show up at Kenny's house. Jason, because yeah. I think after that pitch about Kenny, all uh -huh. the callers and watchers of the show right now want to speak to Kenny. Can you throw his personal information into any item purchased today? I will, I will give you a way of contacting Kenny Argo uh, if you purchase one of the things from the night show. I spend $45 on that information alone, and you're getting it with any of these purchases. You're going to get his friend yeah. Kenny's personal information, address, phone number, any type of information that Jason has available with your purchases. Well, we got a couple of items left uh, on tonight's show. Oh, excellent. Uh, excellent. I can't, I, how are you supposed to top this, Jason? Well, I don't know if we can. But this, this one's pretty interesting. Because this is an original Mr. T headshot. What? It's an original Mr. T headshot, and it comes with a promotional letter that uh, has all sorts of information about, he released an album, he released a rap album, as it's called on the, they put the rap in the quotes and the promotional, release. it's from 1984. So 1984, Columbia Records had to classify, clarify, I should say, that Mr. T's album was rap, just to, because people wouldn't understand otherwise. Uh, and so this has all his biographical information on a, on a separate uh, sheet uh, and, a, and a nice, beautiful 8x10 promotional headshot you can use in your review of the album. Outstanding. Uh, Jason, look, if yeah. you look at the detail, sure. it, it, look how, this is a young Mr. T. Uh -huh. Look at the width of his mohawk, much wider than it was in his later 80s years sure. and today. As wide as mine, but shorter. But it's a wide mohawk, for it's sure. It's a very wide mohawk. And it mohawk. is a high-quality photo because I, I, this was typically used for a newspaper to, to use. To promote. Right. They were going to review his rap album. Now, I love the uh, cutout around the yeah. border. It's, it's almost beautiful. as if someone used scissors and crudely cut just around his body. I think it adds a certain street cred to the photo because Mr. T, he was a bouncer. Very DIY. I learned that by reading the biographical sheet that's on the back there. Oh. And there's information. Let's yeah. Well, he he be, he came to fame by winning uh, NBC TV show about America's, I guess, toughest bouncer. World's toughest bouncer yeah. contest on the segment NBC's Games People Play. And huh. then uh, a Sylvester Stallone saw him on that and was like, "Got to get this guy in a movie." <laughs> next thing you know, Mr. T is in Rocky Three, and uh, he's in the A Team. And next thing you know, he's releasing a rap album with positive messages for children. I've listened to the album. It's pretty great. He was also in WrestleMania 1. Sure. He was in the first ever WrestleMania. He was in the main event with Hulk Hogan versus Friends Paul with Orndorff. Hulk Hogan. Friends, Friends with, with Sylvester Stallone. Mm -hmm. and, and when, oh, wow. what are we asking on this? <laughs> this is priceless, but you have to be asking well, at least like most things on $100. tonight's show. $100. At least $100. 25 bucks delivered. 25 bucks delivered. Almost and everything on tonight's show is 25 bucks. Only the Hypnotoad dude, it's immense value online. It's a little bit more. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Well, 
In all honesty, this is just as valuable as Hypnotoad, but less in terms of cost. And not only that, I'm going to say this right now, you're getting Kenny's phone yeah. number with this purchase. Sure. I'm, uh, because I think that's been a big selling point. Yeah. Our lines are lighting up as soon as we mentioned that and Kenny's information is going to be you, available. Do you own a laundromat? Uh, I used to before okay. the... Because one thing this headshot events. lets you do is, is own and operate a laundromat. This will be the kind of thing you would need in your laundromat or you know any sort of small business you have. If you have a, cabinet, a cabinetry contractor yes. business, if you have a photo booth. Floral a, shop. Floral shop, hair Tattoo salon. Tattoo parlor. Uh, uh, knuckle. Thai restaurant. What, now my question is. Mm -hmm. You just hang that up, you be good How to go. many Thai restaurants have you been in? Uh -huh. And they don't have a Mr. T pose? They don't. They usually I... have that photo of Elvis meeting the king. You've mm -hmm, seen that photo? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. But they, I've never seen a Thai restaurant that had a Mr. T headshot. Now, you, don't you want to be the first Thai restaurant if to have there, your Mr. T headshot? And you own a Thai restaurant, this is your chance. $20, $25. You put it right next now, to the A. online, again, this was much more money. Now, I don't know if it's worth much more money. People were asking significantly more money than this. <laughs> I could imagine. And I could imagine the comments online just talking about how great this product is. And look how detailed his face is. You see the wrinkles in his brow. Sure. You see the, the uh, you could count how many gold chains he has around his neck. I'm assuming they're gold. This is a black and white photograph. It yeah. could be silver. Gold color, to say the least. Uh, I'd hope so, if it was true Mr. T, but who yeah. knows in this era. This is such an early rendition of Mr. T. Uh -huh. Right on the cusp of his stardom. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just have one of them. Huh. So if you're watching uh, Venmo us at Gangbusters, check out normalwebsite.com. Don't miss out. I mean, there's just one left. You put there's this up in your house. Left. Okay. Well, so the last the last item on tonight's show is a little different. Than I don't know how, uh, Jason. You have more I, to say? No, I just I have no idea how you were able to get such great stuff, and you still have more. Well, we have one. We have one more, and it's a little bit different. Okay. Well, I'm excited to find out now, what that different is. We're gonna figure out a way to display this. Do you know Mike Menendez? Personally, I wish. You've heard of Mike Menendez? Of course I've heard of Mike Menendez. OK, well, what this is, is um, I'm just going to hold it up there. This painting is a painting that we will give to Mike Menendez if you Venmo us $50. Uh, it's a giant painting. It's signed. Huge. It's very weird. Who is it signed by? It Jay? looks like Jay Brightworth. Is that, do, you, do you think that's what it says? Brightworth. This is an original J. Brightworth? It is. And um, this we will not mail to you. No. This is, this is sort of like a charitable giving. What we will do is give this to Mike Menendez, who will hate it. He, will, he doesn't want this. Uh, we've given him several paintings. Uh, he hates them. He doesn't like art. He, there's, he hasn't even hung them in his apartment. He's just, they're just stacking up in his apartment. Um, but if you Venmo us $50, we will make sure Mike Menendez receives this painting. And it's by far the weirdest painting we've ever had to give him. In all honesty, I would love, I'd pay $50 to watch him receive this gift. Is that a part of the deal, Jason? Part of the plan would be to, we would film ourselves sort of publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes style. I will find out where Mike lives. Mike has no knowledge of this. He's not a part of this. He does not want this. I will find out where he lives. I will show up and give him this painting <laughs> uh, against his will. I'll make sure he keeps it. And that's all included in the $50 price. Uh, so, uh, now, the, the, again, this very large painting of, weird. of a little girl and a lamb both closing their eyes. Both. So spooky. Or that lamb's eyes are open and those are black eyes. Yeah. That's this, what I thought yeah, the first time I saw The lamb could be it. controlling the girl. In all honesty, it's some sort of warg. Honestly, reverse war. we shouldn't think too much about it. This will be something Mike has to think about for the rest this of his life as of, he looks at this painting. This is one of those now, things that you put in someone's house and then it curses the house. If you're watching this online, maybe you don't know who Mike Menendez is. I can't emphasize it doesn't matter because what's important is he's gonna get this he doesn't painting. want it. He, want he's, it. We've given him several paintings over the last year and a half. He has reacted very negatively every time, but he has kept the paintings. He's kept the paintings? They're in his house. They're stacked up. Uh, when I run into him, I do follow up with him like, hey, did you hang those paintings yet? And he gets pretty mad. I'd imagine. And um, Now, I don't know Mike Menendez very uh -huh. well. In all honesty, I just know him from afar. Sure. Just from afar. Now, does he not throw out these paintings because he doesn't want to throw out art? Or is it because he doesn't know how to throw out these I, large paintings? I assume he's planning on hanging them up to decorate his apartment to impress people. One day. And 
I mean, this is a truly impressive. This is the most impressive painting I can't imagine we've ever had. Into a house and seeing this and seeing anything else afterwards. And he'll have a, he, Mike will have a story to tell about it, which sure. is that a stranger from the internet spited him. <laughs> uh, so uh, if you're tuning in now, uh, the important thing to know is that uh, Mike Menendez and I are engaged in a totally one-sided and bitter feud. Uh, and not feud, but sort uh, of a prolonged guerrilla war. Yeah. Because I respect Mike. And uh, that's why it's my dream to make him take this painting. So if you're watching this uh, and you have $50 for a charitable cause, uh, we will attempt to get video of us ambushing Mike and making him accepting the, uh, this painting, uh, which, you know, most things on the show are $25, but this one's so big. It's so It's weird. a very large, and it's, it's good, good wood. Good this is a great frame. Let's turn this it's around. It's nicely framed. Let's show them what the back looks like, because I was looking at this. It's like a this. real painting. Look at this. A you, lot of the paintings we've given him have been amateur at best. On canvas. This is a canvas painting, not yeah. paper like some other paintings. And I would say vintage. I'd say it's dirty enough. I think it's, I think it's you know, it could be 30 or 40 years old. It's absolutely filthy. I'd it's imagine possible, this has a lot of dust on it. It's possible that Jay Brickworth is dead. And that this is, this. I'd imagine that this painting killed him. I think there's, I think just I think on the timing of this, it's possible Jay Brickworth was a young man and he's still alive. It's likely he's dead. It's and likely that he's in this painting. Honestly, look at that. Can we go, can we, can we put well, that right we, up? We can, yeah. Right here, just to look at that, that sheep, that little lamb. Can you see that lamb and in that now, shot? Imagine yourself as Mike Menendez. Staring at that lamb. So mad. Full of rage. Uh, and that's what I'm asking you, the, the home internet viewer to do is, is to, uh, uh, fun that sort of uh, activity, that sort of prank. Prank's, a, you know, one word for it. Huh. Uh, he's never pranked me, and uh, the point is we, we're just trying to torture Mike Menendez. So uh, if you don't know Mike or you like Mike or you just want to spite a random individual, he's a good guy. Well, I wish I had these type of opportunities when I was growing up, just to yeah. get $50 so that, you know, this guy yeah. could get a painting that yeah. he doesn't want. No, he's going to hate it. It's not, it doesn't look good. It's not going to bring the room together. I'm telling you I that. I think much. most people would be startled to receive a painting like this, but I'm, I think he might, I'm, I, Mike's not going to be startled. Mike's going to be just mad. Can, I have a question. Yeah. Just to, because I'd imagine if I was spending $50 so that this could go into yeah. someone's apartment, can we take a actual picture of that happening Post on social media to tag the person who did it. Well, yeah. I mean, if you want to, if you want to be uh, uh, tagged in, in sort of, you know, like, oh, thanks to the generous donation, uh, we can arrange that with your fifty dollars. I purchase. think they want some sort of credit. We will try and get footage uh, of us delivering the painting, and we will also try and get a photo of Mike looking unhappy standing near the painting. Uh, I can't promise that. It involves Mike playing ball, and Mike has no idea we're doing this. Uh, he won't find out until someone gives us fifty dollars and we show up at his house. Um, and uh, we will attempt to get the footage, we will attempt to get the photo, we will attempt to tag you online if that's what you want. You can also remain anonymous. The point is, Venmo is $50 at gangbusters. Look at normalwebsite.com, uh, which has all of the items from tonight's show. Jason, I thought when you asked me to do this show that this was all about you making money. But now no. that I see that... <laughs> we better, we better yeah, set I'm that over there. Yeah, I'm going to put it right over here. That you're, this isn't just about money anymore. It's about giving people, that's right. the audience, an experience. An experience that they won't forget, or uh, maybe not their experience, but yeah. you having an experience and showing them what happened. I, I try to help people, and to that end, let's just recap what we have tonight. Oh, boy, the, the, the Hypnotoad. Hypnotoad. Hypnotoad, plush animal. We have an office, office script. script. We're going to get that signed. We're going to sign that. We're all going to sign this. Um, uh, we have self defense DVDs. Sure. Sure, but this is almost like an essential. You probably should get these. You have the gun. Might as well learn how to use it. Exactly. We got the Bob Ross Chia Pet. Bob Ross Chia Pet. Great. And also, self-defense will work in a home invasion. A lot of the, uh, all Every, of the basically the plush item with the, the Hypnotoad is not going to be a great self-defense item. You can maybe suffocate. I'd imagine suffocate a small Someone mouth who is already in infirm. Someone, yeah, 100%. It, because it's not, there's not a lot of coverage. Honestly, there's not a lot of coverage. If they wiggle a little bit, they get some air. Uh, we do have the capes. The capes also could be used for self-defense, I'm assuming. You can't fly You would look these. good doing self-defense in the capes. The beautiful, they're beautiful capes. They're good capes. We don't have the technology to show you because they're the same color as the green screen, but they are 
beautiful. Uh, we got the Mr. T headshot. You can open up any small business once you have this headshot. 100%. And we have Laserdisc. We have the horror films on Laserdisc. Uh, nine horror movies, or I guess eight horror movies, plus Free Willy, uh, in excellent condition, letterboxed, but, on timeless Laserdisc technology. And Free Willy is something of a horror movie, just more of like that dystopia that we currently live in and we're okay with. Well said. So uh, if you like something on tonight's show, don't hesitate. Uh, look us up at normalwebsite.com, uh, Venmo us at Gangbusters. Uh, claim your prize. We will nail it to you. Uh, last week, uh, somebody bought our uh, surprising number of Vertigo brand trading cards. Outstanding. And so uh, th that's gone. You <laughs> missed your chance on that. And in all honesty, these things are going to go fast. Uh, so if you're watching this, uh, uh, look us up. Check if it's still in stock at normalwebsite.com and uh, act. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100% act. Act now because one, one, the, you want your friends to respect you. You want to respect yourself. And the first step, yeah. purchasing these items. Or you just want to spite Mike Menendez. Do something, yeah. You know? Huh. You just want to make him unhappy. Jason? In like a fun way. You silver tongued devil. Oh, I'm just thinking about how unhappy Mike's going to be. Anyway, uh, I am Jason Van Glass. I am Red Jefferson. Wow, and uh, I want to thank our, our production crew, Rob Schultz and Russell August Anderson. Uh, we're going to be live every uh, Friday uh, at twitch.tv slash greenglassdoor. So uh, check us out. Check out normal website and uh, uh, buy something. Good night. Hey.